With the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are welcome to the New Heart Christian Ministries, a Bible-believing Christian family church, where we pray, sing, worship, express love, fellowship, discuss scripture and where we are constantly experiencing the diverse manifestations of the Holy Spirit. Father Lord, we thank you Lord for another evening that you are giving us the grace to come before you. Jehovah God will bless you. Lord Almighty God will honor you Lord. We have come to praise you. We have come to bless you. We have come to worship you. We have come to honor you. We are going to tell that you are our God and we have no other God. Father, we thank you Lord for the grace accorded us for another special evening that you have given us the opportunity to come before you. Father, we thank you Lord. I say to our thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, Almighty God, Father, you are the King of Kings, you are the Lord of Lords. You are the I am, the I am. You are the beginning, you are the ending, you are the Alpha, you are the Omega. You are the one that reigned from eternity to eternity and from everlasting to everlasting. You are omnipotent, you are omniscient, you are omnipresent God. Father, Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you, Lord Jehovah God. You are God that draw wondrous things. Father, we thank you. We are not taking you for granted. Jehovah God will bless you, Lord, as we are progressing into this tonight prayer session, Father, be in our midst in the name of Jesus. Let all our supplications be a sweet aroma before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let our heart desires be granted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jehovah God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ, I've prayed. Amen. Praise God. Uh, praise Jesus. Uh, we thank Almighty God uh, once again, and we thank everyone who has been joining us on this particular program. This is New Art Christian Ministries, and we are broadcasting from Barcelona in Essex in the United Kingdom. Just in case you are worshipping uh, with us for the for the first time, praise God. Uh, before we move forward uh, tonight, let us just call um, our sister in the Lord to please uh, lead us in the praise and worship. Praise God. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with any man. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. I adore you, O Lord. I adore you, O Lord. I glorify your name. I glorify your name. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. And forever you are Lord. And forever you are God. I adore you, O Lord. I adore you, O Lord. I glorify your name. I glorify your name. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. And forever you are Lord. And forever you are God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia to the Lord. Alleluia to the King. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia to the Lord. Praise God. Uh, this evening, we are going to be praying for those who are struggling in their marriage. And um, I can tell you, uh, marriage, every marriage is not the same. So some people, they are very happy in their marriage. Things are going on well. They have their home. They have their children. They are happy. They don't have any problem. And there are some uh, couples, there are some marriages where they are having turbulent period. Okay, I'm not talking about those who are having misunderstandings. Uh, uh, I'm not talking about all these little, little misunderstandings. No, that is bound to happen as long as it not it is not getting too constant and not getting to uh, uh, to break down the family. Okay, that is fine. Okay, even though mouth and teeth do fight, the prayer is for the families that are not happy, the union that is about to break, the marriage that is heading for the rock, the marriage that the husband and wife are trying to do away with one another. We have to be praying this evening, and if you have someone who's experiencing that, then you need to stand in gap um, for them. If you are not the one, praise God. Um, maybe you have not heard of some couples, they live in the same house, but they don't talk. They don't talk, they don't greet one another, and they have children. 
They are living in the same house. Maybe you have not had some uh, some couples who the husband has a, a different pot for cooking. The wife also has a different... Ah, Jehovah God Almighty. Father, we are calling upon your mighty name to intervene in those families. The wife has a different cooking pot and the husband too has a different cooking pot in the same house. Praise God. Ah, God help us. So we are going to we are going to pray tonight for those families that God should bring peace. You may not understand how it is when things are not working out well in the family among couples. It is tough. It is very bad. Those people said they love one another. They love one another, and they got married, and things are started going wrong. We might be saying, "Is this one's fault or is that one's fault?" Sometimes they they, too, they can't just figure it out why they are having that that particular problem. Okay, marriage is good. Marriage is very good. One of the greatest things in life is marriage. It is a good thing, even though the Bible says it in the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 22, that if a man should find a wife, it's a good thing. And that man has found the favor of the Lord. Okay? And that man has found the favor of the Lord. Ooh, a man who finds a, a wife. Okay? And the, the Proof of, uh, book of Proverbs also write that 25 uh, verse 24 that it is better to live in the corner of the house than in the in the house shared with the cruelest own women. Praise God. So even though the the the, the Bible say that when you when the man finds a wife it's a very good thing. It's still saying that okay when you have a wife who's cruelest quarrelsome, it's better for you to live on the top of the root in order to avoid uh, that such a woman. Uh, I have a I had a, of a man that for 41 years for 41 years this man pretended that he was deaf he pretended to his wife that he was deaf I think maybe he got fed up about all these uh, the way his wife talks also, uh, can we say that is a marriage that's a problem okay that's a problem marriage is a very good thing I don't want people to twist it that um, marriage is a very bad thing. I know there are some quite a lot of families where they are experiencing violence, but it's not the same thing with every marriage. Okay, you 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 you, you go to a particular house and you see how a husband and wife are behaving. You would love to get married, but you 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 go to some you go to some houses and uh, when you get there, you you have to be setting settling dispute all the time. Tension all the time. Tension all the time. People threatening each other with knives. Violence. Domestic violence. Praise God. Marriage, marriage. to be honest with you, marriage, marriage is a very good thing. Okay? Marriage is a very good thing. The Bible says that if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Marriage is a very good thing. Um, a lot of things come into marriage because there, there is a there was a reason why why God created um, institution of marriage. Okay, that was a reason. And to be honest with you, if you walk into that path, we will enjoy marriage. Okay, um, to be honest with you, many people they are campaigning that they don't want to get married because they've seen what is actually happening in some families. Okay. Um, but it's not like that in every family. Before God could create a woman, he has decided on her rules and responsibilities and in order for her to be effective, God has given her everything she will need to bring up a good home, knowledge, wisdom, forbearance, endurance, and so on. Okay, but all this can fail if the wife turns out that she has no love for the man. And the same thing if, the, if it turns out that the man doesn't have love for the woman. Praise God. So we need, we need to look into these issues of marriage. I'm not here to talk about Mar marital issues now uh, we just want to pray for these people who are going through um one situation or the other in their families please don't let us treat it and uh, twist it marriage is a very good thing okay like i said earlier on there must be a reason why god created the institution of marriage no one is saying this is an easy journey as you know two people living together can be tough two people brought up in different way from different home it can only be god but there are couples who had issues they sorted things out for themselves. They sit down and iron things out. And there are some who struggled but lost to divorce. 
when things started to fall apart and center is failing to hold, then we need God. And that is why this evening we have to call on God for intervention. Even if your marriage has no problem, we still have to pray for it to be a very lasting one. Life is unpredictable. No one knows what will happen tomorrow. Various issues can arise in a marriage. Praise God. In the book of Genesis 38, we read about the troubles of Tamar, who married one of Judah's sons, Er, the eldest. Verses 6 to 7 say that Judah got a wife for Er, his firstborn, and her name was Tamar. But Er, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the Lord's sight, so the Lord put him to death. As at the time of Er's death, there wasn't any child in the marriage. Okay? As per their custom, Tamar was willed for El's younger brother Onan, so that if Tamar should conceive through that, <coughs> excuse me, Els will end up having a child in life, even though he was no more. So all what Judah was trying to do is to see that Els, his first son, um, has a child. Okay, so he now planned, he now planned that um, uh, Onan should go inside and meet the the um, the wife. The woman agreed. Okay, the woman agreed. I believe Onan at this time was a single man. This instruction from was from his dad and did not seem to be okay with him because he knew that at the end of the day, the child will not be his. So whenever he slept with his brother's wife, he skilled his semen on the ground to keep him from providing offspring for his brother. What he did was wicked in the Lord's sight. So the Lord put him to death also. So within some period of time, Tamar has lost uh, two men. Tamar experienced another death. No woman will have prayed for such things. Praise God. That is one thing that somebody can experience in the family. To be honest with you, it's tough. Look at Samson and Delilah. Love life. That was another love story that ended on the, in the wrong side of life. You said you love you love a man, and some people came to you and said we want to take his life. I said okay, this is you, this is where his power is, because they are going to give you some coins. But there are marriages like the ones of Jacob, even though they had their own turbulent time. There are marriages like that one of Jacob. Jacob was only bargaining for one wife. He had he ended up with four. So all those wives are those that he had are those the children of Israel of today. So there are marriages like the one of Abraham, a happy one. Even though they were barren, they stayed together. They stayed together till the end. Solid love is a bedrock of any marriage and a marriage without love will always come out with fighting over a trivial issues. Bible in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 asks men to love their wife just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. And you women love your husband as well. One of the best things you can give to each other is love. And that word loves come with many things. Many good things that anyone can think of. Many good things. Love. Passion. To make a marriage work, there must be sacrifices. Meaning, there must be some things you need to overlook or let go as long as, as it is not compromising health and safety of you and everyone else. Not everything has to go your way. And not everything you have, um, you have to be correcting. This one you corrected. That one you corrected. Now you know everything. Also, there must be an understanding. Each other's do's and don'ts, hates and likes are very important. Some couples fight over petty things, and that is when the love is going down the drain. I, 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 I've shared, I've shared this before. My friend, a male, came from a family that eat a lot of pepper, but married a woman that came from a home where they don't eat pepper. So one day, my friend's mother-in-law came for a visit. Okay, and, and was served a meal. But the mother-in-law couldn't enjoy the meal as there was too much pepper for her liking. So she asked her daughter, uh, when did you start eating pepper? My friend's wife just pointed to her husband, meaning it is because of him. Understanding makes a marriage solid. Not where everyone is trying to go solo. You are doing dodgy things behind your husband, you are doing dodgy things behind your wife. How can two people work together if they don't agree? No, I'm not blaming anyone here about chaos in a marriage, but we have to pray. Satan too never liked a marriage to work because he knows that two people, Adam and Eve, if they work together, if they are really in love, okay, the things will be going on well with human being. 
He never liked marriage. Praise God. A little row shouldn't lead to, uh, you know, let us go our different ways. No, not up to that. We have to sort things out. The book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 says, Be angry, but do not sin. It becomes a sin if you let the sun go down while you are still angry. A marriage will work if there is love, understanding, and sacrifice. We will pray, but remember everything is done to you. Praise God. Everything is done to you. We can pray. We can do our own. Okay? We can do our own. We can do our own. But you have a lot of work to do. You have a lot of work to do in your own. We are going to pray now, my dear brothers and sisters. Please, you are going to help me to sing this song. You deserve the glory. Let us just thank God. Let us sing this song to thank God before we take all our supplications before Him. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship and we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship and we bless your holy name. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Thank you, Lord Father. Jehovah God, you are great. Almighty God, you are the greatest. You are bigger than the biggest and you are taller than the tallest. You are greater than the greatest. You are wonderful. No one like you, Jehovah God. We give you the honor and adoration. Thanks to you, Lord Almighty God. Father, we worship you. My brothers and sisters, now time to pray for that marriage. You will raise up, you will raise up your voice and say, Father, this is my marriage. Visit me and my marriage. Visit my home. Or you can mention the name, mention the name of that couple you want to stand in God for and restore back its glory. We are going to say, Father, visit my marriage. Visit me and my marriage. Visit my home. Visit my home. Visit my home. Father, visit my home. Jehovah God, visit my home. Almighty God, visit my home. In the name of Jesus. Father, visit my home. Mention that name of that couple that you want to pray for. That you know that you are going, they are going through trouble and period. You are going to say, Father, I bring to the family of sister this. I bring to the family of brother this. Father, visit those homes. In the name of Jesus. Visit their homes in the name of Jesus. You are going to mention them. Send it God for them. In the name of Jesus. Now, in the if it is you, if it is you that you know your marriage is going trouble and period, or it could be your children, it could be any of your children, it could be your brother, it could be your uncle, it could be anybody. You are going to mention their name. You are going to say, Father, visit those homes in the name of Jesus. If it is your marriage, I will, Father, visit my marriage. Visit me and my marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, the son back is glory in the name of Jesus. My brother and sister, pray, 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 pray. Pray. Ask God to visit your home in the name of Jesus. Ask the Almighty God to visit your home in the name of Jesus. Ask God to visit your home in the name of Jesus. Pray that God should touch your family in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jehovah God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying. Amen. Ha. We are getting there. The second uh, prayer point is you will pray again. You will pray again and say, Oh Lord, touch my life that is warring against my marriage. You will say, Oh Lord, touch my life, touch my life, touch my life that is warring against my marriage. Okay? Visit the part of my life that is trying to destroy my marriage. Some men, it is their anger. They don't want to spend money. Okay? Some men, it is their overneedness. They, they are so neat. You can't drop this, you can't drop that. If you move a cup like this, then I don't want my cup to be there. I want it to be there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So all these kind of things, they destroy marriage, they destroy happiness in the marriage. Huh? You, 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 we have to we have to accommodate one another. That's what it's all about. What it's all about. You don't, you, uh, brother, don't be stingy. Spend your money on your wife. Huh? Huh? We are working for the family, Abby. You spend your money on your on your family. Hmm? Make your wife happy. I was having a discussion with a woman one day. I said, uh, she, she came to work where I'm working. I said, 
okay now a man um lost uh, his job and uh, he has some money in the house how long can you a woman um look after that man? and the man said eh, my money you see that's another problem we need to work together there's no need of any one of us holding on to our money tightly let us let us accommodate one another if whatever you can do for your children do it for your husband do it for your wife praise god you are going to pray say oh lord touch my life that is warring against my marriage be it anger father touch it and destroy it in the name of jesus be it selfishness father touch it and destroy it in the name of jesus be it my over neatness father help me oh lord and remove it from my life in the name of jesus anything that is warring against my marriage father visit my part of my life and remove them in the name of jesus christ you are going to pray pray brothers and sisters oh jehovah god almighty father fight against everything that is warring against my marriage in the name of jesus oh lord jehovah god almighty touch my life father touch my life father touch my life father anything that is warring against my marriage father remove them from my life in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus touch my life father touch my life father touch my life father in the name of jesus christ jehovah god almighty oh hallelujah Kasibale, Babaroa Kasike Keye Marua Basika Yem Basika Rebo Sike Ya. Oh Marua Basika Kayam Basike Ra. You are going to pray, my brothers and sisters. Oh, how far to touch your life in the name of Jesus? Father, touch my life that is changing my marriage for the worse. Oh Lord, help me, Lord. Help me, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jehovah God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Amen. Praise God. We are going to pray again. Okay, this is the last uh, prayer point we are going to pray tonight. You will pray. Lord, grant me peace in my marriage. Grant me financial breakthrough in my marriage. If you are looking unto the Lord for the food of the womb, you will remind God and say, Father, give me children in my marriage. Give me peace in my marriage. Give me money. Give me money off of in my marriage. Give me good health in my marriage. You are going to pray. Whatever you are asking, God say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh, to open my womb, in the name of Jesus, give me peace in my marriage. Give me settlement in my marriage. Give me financial breakthrough in my marriage, in the name of Jesus. Papa God, visit me. Papa God, visit me. In the name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray. If you once again, remember those families that you know they are actually having problems. Every family that you know that they are going for divorce, pray for peace. Pray, pray for under, understanding. No one will go and marry an angel. You are going to pray for that. You are going to say, Father, restore that family to peace in the name of Jesus. That family that is going to trouble and kill up. Father, bring them together. Bring them together. Bring them together. Bring your love back to them in the name of Jesus. The love that was there when they saw the, the, themselves in the first place. Father, bring them back in the name of Jesus. Pray, my brothers and sisters. You have to pray. Pray for pray in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. If you can pray in tongue, pray in tongue. Pray in tongue in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray. Marua kaiba basike riba. Okushia karim basike kere buri basike kaya basike riba. Jio Maria basike kaya mbare basike kere riba. Pray in tongue. If you can pray in tongue or speak or, or, or speak in, in, in the natural. Jehovah God Almighty, visit those families in the name of Jesus. Visit those families in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jehovah God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are afraid. Amen. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, Amen. Allo be thy name. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, Amen. Allo be thy name. Allo be thy name. Allo be thy name. Our Father, Allo be thy name. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, Amen. Allo be thy Bakira Bahia Basike Kia Ola Ikasika Kaya Basiki. Father, to you, Lord Jehovah God, we give all the glory, Father. We thank you for another day. You have given us the grace to bring all our supplication before you. Father, we thank you, Lord Jehovah God. We all know you, Lord. Thank you. Answer the prayer of Jabi, Father Jehovah God Almighty. Answer our prayer tonight in the name of Jesus. Father Jehovah God Almighty, we commit all our supplications before you. Let them be sweet aromas before you in the name of Jesus. You say the, the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. Father Jehovah God, we hope in you touch every home. Where there is an uprising, Father Jehovah, let there be peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Where husband and wife do not want to see themselves, Father Lord, intervene in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah God, arise for your children. Father, bring peace to every family in the name of Jesus. Visit every home in the name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah God, we thank you, Lord. All those people who are expecting peace, who are expecting um, wealth, who are expecting uh, children, Jehovah God Almighty, fulfill their heart desires in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, Lord Jehovah God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. Thanks uh, to everyone that has joined us this evening on this prayer session. May the Lord bring all your expectations to pass in Jesus' name. We are back on Sunday at 10 a.m. for our Sunday devotional service uh, in our church and um, online by the grace of God. Okay, please join us 10 o'clock on Sunday morning UK time. As a quick reminder, we have um, Bible study time with God on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. UK time. And our prayer sessions, um, um, prayers change things also at 7 p.m. UK time. Thanks so much, everyone. Uh, to Sunday, where we come your way again. Um, stay blessed. Praise God. With the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are welcome to the New Heart Christian Ministries, a Bible-believing Christian family church, where we pray, sing, worship, express love, fellowship, discuss scripture and where we are constantly experiencing the diverse manifestations of the Holy Spirit.